Hey! So today we are going to cross. Wearing a mask so I don't trust anyone and I feel like shit. Um, but um, we're just walking there now. We're literally nearly there. Um, so we are. I think it's the. Is it the toy today? Toy and utility. Toy and utility today we're doing. It's the Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't been in a while now. But with my aunt and my mama. Say hi. Hi! <laughs> Let's go in! We've just come in and we're just at the stalls now. It looks so pretty. Just saw some really cute paintings. Um, but it's so busy. Um, I'll show you now. Got the Julie's harness. Oh, we have them at my workplace. They're really good. They're a nice natural brand. Oh, I could do with some of them. That massage chair. Why does that stall look really pretty? Cheeky raffle. Oh. <gasps> oh. Um, just literally petted a smoid and it was the cutest thing ever. We're now in the oh, ring area. <laughs> All the Chanel's. How cute. <laughs> we are now just about to go. We're at the guide dog booth and we're about to go for a sensory guide. And apparently it's pitch black in there, but you're going to figure out what it's like be guided by a guide dog. It's so cute, I'll show you now. There's so much stuff. To their ears and a lot of spaniels and that. It's like so people out of the water. They don't want having their ears dry. I don't know if you can hear me, but we are now going into one of the next halls. We've just completed the first one. And there was a lot of like oh, sorry, colors, leads and all that other stuff in this one and like jumpers and stuff. And there's some grooming stuff, mainly in this hall. And then a couple of things for like just us in general at home, like food wise. Um, but yeah, it's cute. Look at all this. Oh, dimension. How sweet. Look at all that, it's all filled with people and their dogs. Ice cream and waffles. My fat ass wants it. Wow. I'm literally a state. Don't know why. Um, you know when like, you just rush to get ready? That was me this morning. Um, but we're now in the second hall. Um, it's a lot more open and less busy up here, which is nice. You can actually breathe a little bit. I will show you now. How stunning are these? These are so cute. Just had a little tea break now. Got our tea and coffee and cake. Big call company. Oh, Dalmatian. Megan and 
Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh my god. Look at this little like girl. That is like the cutest thing ever. Oh. Yeah, we're adorable. adorable. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my god, they've got little guinea pig ones. How lovely is that mug, guys? How lovely is that mug, guys? You heard it here first. <laughs> oh, look, team, they got terriers. And little puppies. Do you want to carry poo bags in style? Say less. <laughs> I feel like I'm not enjoying it as much as I normally would just because being a nutritionist now there's so many things here that actually aren't great for your dog and it makes me really sad um, so well, I'm just looking at the ingredients and I'm just like no, no, can't have that, can't have that, that's not great <laughs> obviously we have found some stuff uh, which is good but yeah it kind of opens your eyes to a lot when you pick up trays this is so oh dear Oh, wow, look! Oh, 
I am in my sort of element now. Wow, wow, wow. Just think you guys could look to that though if you have one. The ones I wanted to see the most as well were hardly in there, like none of them were in there. I was like, oh my god, that is just my look. But saw quite a lot still, and it was just, I just won about 50 dog breeds, I've just decided. Now that is a big bath. Rumour heaven. I just want to know what size. Busy day at Crofts, our last day. My name is Jill, I'm going to. I run an agency supplying and handling animals for the film and TV industry. And we're going to show you some of the tricks we train on our dogs. So we get them to live 
shake their heads, hide their eyes, do things that basically convey human emotions um, that directors and scripts often require. So one of the first things we do is train our dog to go to a mark. And we start off with something like this, or even bigger, and the dog is trained to go and stand exactly on that mark. So the director can bring a dog into a room, or a yard, or anywhere, and know it will go exactly to that spot, so they can light it properly. And the thing with that is, once they've got their mark, you can use anything. So you, as the public watching the show, don't realise that that stone or that leaf the dog is standing on, we've actually told the dog that's its mark. And it's very good, on your mark. So the idea is, that's your little head shape, shape your head. Um, they stay there until we touch, stay, flat, down, down, flat, boom, down, other flat. They're all now anticipating the next behavior, they're not waiting to be told. Good girl, down, and we might want a dog, down, crawl, down. We might want the dog to look as if it's injured or it's trying to go somewhere secretly when no one's seeing it. So we train them to do a crawl like you saw Boo doing. Right, back on your mark, young lady. Go on, mark, mark. We might want the dog to look excited or worried by something. So we train things like circle, 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 circle. Very good girl. Train them just to go around in a circle. Good. I actually found and sourced him to train. Uh, for these commercials. Good. Good boy. Come here. Casper. Casper, on your mark. Very good. Flat. That's Casper. Very tired. He's been doing a lot of cleaning lately. Trained on for a script because he had to look. Um, as if he couldn't bear to see all the dirt and dust around. Up, sit. Good. Sit up. Good boy. Good. Mop doing its thing. Take a bow. Take a bow. Stay. Good. So we told him to take a bow. What is that? Good. Circle. Good. Circle. Here's the fact I... These are so well designed. Oh, it's not. That's a French Bulldog. Next to it is. They're so pretty. We've just stopped now to have a breather. I think we're kind of done for the day now. Me and my mum are kind of just crashed. I'm not feeling 100%. She's not feeling 100%. My aunt's just gone to the last store um, just to grab some of them. But we've just stopped to have a little cake break while we wait. And we are home. Um, yeah, literally just got back. Feel like death. <laughs> no, but it's been a really good day. Enjoyed what we could. Um, but it's about nearly half four, I think. So we spent a decent amount of time there. Um, but yeah, just got home now. I am exhausted. <laughs> Gonna have a nice bath and just chill. Um, but yeah, I got what I could after today. It was just really busy. And a lot of it was just like loads of people in the way or couldn't film a lot. Like it weren't actually as good um, this year as what it normally is. Um, I haven't been the last couple of years, I don't think, because of COVID and everything. But yeah, I don't think it was as good this year um, as what it normally is. Um, there was a good couple of stores though, like for sure. But yeah, it was all just kind of really repetitive of what was there. So I was like, hmm. And obviously, like I said earlier, now that I'm a nutritionist, it's really hard to enjoy it as much because you just start looking at all the ingredients and it's like, this ain't great. So it's a bit like, hmm. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed what you could from what I could get today. Um, but yeah, if you like this sort of stuff, like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.